County Sheriff's Department is mourning a loss. 20 year old deputy Meredith Portillo was off duty when a suspected wrong way driver hit her Mustang. News for San Antonio's Amanda Henderson spoke with her family and elected leaders about what can be done to stop this type of crash. The scene of an overnight crash speaks for itself. A suspected wrong way driver causing the devastation, three in total killed, including Bear County Deputy Meredith Portillo. It's also very popular, very well liked. The parents of the 20 year old shared these photos with us. They're thankful for the support following Meredith's death, but are not ready to go on camera. They do want you to know who their daughter was, a recent high school graduate who's dedicated to her job and a goofball. Her boss, Bear County Sheriff Javier Salazar, singing her praises. The thing that her dad wanted me to know and wanted me to convey to everybody is that she just really uh, was proud to work here. It makes me proud to hear that as well, that we provided a workplace to her that made her proud to, to belong. This isn't the first time we've heard of wrong way drivers allegedly causing crashes, or in this case, fatal crashes. As you can see right here, the interstate where everything took place, I-37, is a busy road. So we reached out to members of the city's public safety committee to see what can be done to ensure safety for all drivers. Because we're always looking for ways uh, to make sure that um, we provide as, as safe a roadway system. District 10 Councilman Mark White is on the city's public safety committee. He says stopping all wrong way drivers is difficult, but there are a number of tools to help with prevention, such as wrong way signs and alerts. If there's a driver that, uh, you know, isn't paying paying attention or, or need something to, to make sure that they know not to go that way, that, that, that maybe something like that will, will prevent it. The councilman says he plans to bring up the topic before their meetings resume next month. If we have a shortage of those wrong way signs, if this is something that we do need to allocate more money to in the upcoming uh, budget, it's certainly something that I would push for. Reporting in San Antonio, I'm Amanda Henderson.